Hey guys and gals, Malkuth, 1974, back at you with another tutorial. Today we're going to be covering the Science Lab. And the Science Lab can be found in your Science tab in the VAB. It's actually called the Mobile Processing Lab MPL LG2. Now how this works in Kerbal Space Program 1.0 is that it can convert data into usable science. Now what that means is that if you do an experiment, uh, you grab something like a, a crew report or an EVA report or a, uh, a soil sample, anything like that, if you put it inside of the lab as data, it will multiply that data into a into science and it'll give you more science over time than if you just turn that data in after you landed say the same data on the ground and you convert it to science there if you uh, convert science from just an experiment and you land you know that's a one-to-one -one ratio but if you use the lab processor and you deliver the science there it's more of a one to five ratio I guess I'm not quite sure it all matters what kind of Kerbals you have in there so let's take a look at it first so it's pretty small. It's also very very fragile. So something you should learn about this: if uh, this thing hits the ground at anything higher than about seven ms, it's pretty much gonna die. So it's very fragile. It holds two Kerbals, and it's good for anything of like space stations or uh, a colony module on the ground. If you wanna, you know, do science that way. Good for those Duna missions, Moon missions, where your Kerbals have to sit on the surface for about a year until they get another transfer window to somewhere else but yeah you know it's all good there uh, how the science works is I'll actually uh, pop a little uh, percentage thing up on the screen here if you guys can look at it now these can hold two Kerbals and you want two scientist Kerbals now the higher their level the better the uh, the multiplier you can see now you can see that on the little uh, bar graph here uh, the different levels uh, the levels the first column there then it's the multiplier and then it's your rate percentage that you get for that for each Kerbal and one Kerbal will one scientist Kerbal will start the process if you select it and then if you add another one you will even get more so let's actually start using this in an example get rid of that. let me go to new no don't save so right now I am gonna load crew delivery craft. We're not going to go through all this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this to orbit to my space station that we built in another tutorial and I added that I added that module to it, that science module. I'm going to pull out uh, Bill Kerman and I'm going to add another scientist. I have Telia here, Kerman. So now I have two scientists. They're both, uh, they're both very low level so they're not going to produce all that much uh, as a, as a converter because I haven't really uh, worked with the scientist in my tutorial video yet but anyway I've also added a few things to this I'm gonna pick up as much science as I can on the way to here I'm gonna be using the goo containers everything that I can actually use to actually get there and the first thing I'm gonna do is when I launch I'm gonna open this back up I'm gonna see if I can actually get a goo container on here or not I'm not sure if I can yeah, we'll grab that. So we'll keep the data there. And I'll close this back up. I have another one for space. I'm going to do a crew report. He's going to grab that. I don't have any here, but I'm going to grab it anyway. And I don't believe I'll be able to do an EVA, EVA, EVA report, but I'll put Telia out there. And we'll have her do an EVA report, which is five science. That's all right. And then we'll reboard. And. I will launch this to the space station so I will be right back when we are about to dock with the space station alright guys as I get closer to docking here should be all set let's kind of turn that in there we go shut that off so now that I have docked with my space station as you can tell this is the space the same space station I launched in my how to make space station uh, a space station tutorial only thing is I've added another module to it and that is the science module the mobile processing lab MPL LG2 the same thing we were looking at when we were in uh, the VAB so one thing I want to do now is I want to get some more science I'm going to open this back up 
I'm gonna do this. Observe mystery goo. Let's see if I actually grabbed any of this yet. Nope, I got some of that, so we'll keep that. I forgot to do the atmospheric one on the way up, but I don't think that'll work. Well, actually, we did get some. Nice. So we go, and I will do a log temperature, and that should be all set. All right, so what we need to do now is we need to actually transfer our scientist to the lab. So I'm just going to take uh, Bob and transfer him over here. And I'm going to take Telia and transfer in there too. So now I have two Kerbals in there. They're all set. And I'm going to start putting the science into the lab. So how I'm going to do that first, I'm going to grab the crew report. Let's actually do it. Let's see if we can get a better crew report up here. Yes, this one actually has science. So if we look at it, we have an extra option now in our report. Now that we're connected to the lab and we have scientists in there, we have process in lab module plus six data. So it's going to put six data into the lab module. So we're going to do that, of course. I'm going to go to this. I'm going to uh, absorb. Um, eh, not uh, blah, 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 blah. Keep that data. And I believe this mystery goo absorb there so and I'll have the mystery goo open and what I'm going to do is I'm going to process in the lab module just go just like that it's going to add 12 data in there I would open up the other one review that's going to add four data that's the one we got on the ground of Kerbin I'm going to put that in there and not quite sure why this one is it maybe the uh, Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so I just kind of reset it and I did it again. This one's going to add, or it's not going to add. Huh, I wonder if that's a bug. Ah, hmm. oh, there it is. So now I'm going to put that in there. And it's going to process it. It's taking a little bit longer. Let that get all processed. So all it's doing is that it's storing everything into this uh, as data. You get, you're allowed up to 500 data, and you're allowed up to 500 science. So once uh, you hit your your data limit, you will be all set. So keep that like that. So the data limit is what is actually stored when you take an experiment, and the science is what is actually generated when you uh, when you turn it in, when either at the end of the mission, or in this case, we're going to turn it in in the mobile processing lab. I have one more thing on here that is. Uh, log temperature. So I'm just going to go like that. I'm going to put that in there too. I'm just going to put as much data in there as I possibly can with whatever I have. You just have to wait till it does the transfer. And we'll keep that. And let's see if we can get an EVA report from uh, Bob. No, where is he? He's Jebediah. So we'll do an EVA on him. I will EVA report, keep data. I'll put him back in. As much data as you can add to this, the more you will get. So let me uh, review stored data. That's the EVA report. We'll do that one and do that one. And they're all going to go in hopefully soon. Keep data. This one's going to do, it does seem like it stacks, so you can stack them and they will be processed in order that you stack them. So there we go. So now I have all my data in there. If I right click on the mobile processing, processing lab, you can see that I have 80 data currently in there. And at the rate I have the scientists in there, it's only going to produce 0 0.0216 science a day. That's not a whole lot, but when you think of uh, time compression and stuff like that, uh, that adds up. And of course, I have very low I don't have very high data in here, and my Kerbals are only not even level 1 yet for the scientists. So, uh, again, if you add better scientists in there, you you, uh, you get them higher levels, that the conversion rate will be a lot higher. So let's start this up, and you can tell, now you can tell that it's researching. So this will work off camera. So if we uh, do some time acceleration right now, we can't time accelerate all that much because we're pretty close to a curb and surface. And... Again, this is per day. Got to remember that. So, if you leave and go back to the space center, and let's say we can, uh, let's go to the tracking station for we can track how long the station's been up there. It's been up there for one day. So I'm just gonna time accelerate, and we're just gonna let a bunch of days pass. How about we do 200 days for whatever reason? 
imagine this is a game and he's up there and they're doing all their science and all that blah 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 so we're at 67 70 actually we'll go to 100 days that should give us a little bit of science it won't give us a whole hell of a lot but it will give us enough so we've been up there 103 days in this case it's actually 102 since they've been up there go back to the station and we'll check things out We'll look on here as you can tell we now have 10.781 science of course you can you have a max of 500 and of course the if you go to the moon and you uh, you have one of these mobile processing labs in orbit of the moon uh, you know you'll probably have more closer to that data of 500 now something you also have to keep in mind is that the data you put in here will get burned up again if you turned in the data a normal way you'd get a one-to-one -one ratio but in the in the case of the mobile processing lab I believe it's a 1 to 5 ratio so for every one data you get in 5 science and for every uh, which is it's it's actually burning that away so uh, every day it's gonna burn away one point of data and it's gonna give you the science or however that however that process has worked I don't know the exact the exact numbers of how that's going but eventually you'll run out of data so it's not gonna last forever you'll have to keep adding data to it but the process will generate you a lot more science than if you just turn it in uh, the normal way. So the mobile processing lab has become a pretty valuable tool for you in your Kerbal Space Program uh, colonies and everything like that. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a much more uh, ideal way of generating science if you want to get a lot of science. There is plenty of science in Kerbal Space Program now with all the all the new biomes that have been added and all that. There's plenty of science, but if you're if you're the kind of guy that doesn't want to go to all these biomes and do all this science crap, this might be your way of uh, adding some extra science to your game. So as always guys, I hope this helped you out a little bit. This is Malkuth1974. We'll see you later. Malkuth out of here.